Hello guys, my name is Leo, and welcome to what remains of Edith Finch. Uh, I've already done a bit of exploring Even the, the fireplace house, but... had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house, after it sank. Oh shit, even more backstory. Nice. This must have been... Barbara's. Yeah, Barbara was a child star. Great Grandpa so... Sven built a music box for Barbara. Along with the rest of the house. Fair enough. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Bye. The library. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh, crap. Instead of a family, there were just memories of one. After Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got pretty sick of salmon. S Except our cat, Molly. Oh. Yeah, there's a lot of backstory to this, so I probably won't be talking too much during this video. There's a lot of shit going on here. Honestly, I want to find out about it. So, yeah, power's off. Nothing really seems to work. So I'm gonna do a bit more exploring. The table was still a wreck from the night we left. Jesus. So she's 17. Last time she was in the house, she was 11. It's been six years and all this shit still piled here. Wow. Yeah. I don't even know the fucking story of this. Oh. This wasn't open before. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. It's... Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea, boy. How do even I know that book? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. My. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. Fucking God. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon. But I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving. So I looked around for something to eat. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. about eating Christopher, but I held back. Jesus. My Halloween candy was all gone. Bloody hell. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Oh, 
She has a German accent. Fuck. I didn't realize that. God, that's trippy. You can tell this is a flashback, but it's not everything as it seems. I kept eating and eating. I ate a lot of things that night. Then I heard chirping outside my window. It was a barn swallow going back to her nest. I reached out for her. And suddenly, I was a cat. What in the fuck is going on here? Right. I have no idea what in the fuck is going on I here. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Yeet. Yeet. God, this is so fucking cool. Yeet. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Yeet. What are you yeet to now? Yeet. Oh. Yeet. Yeet. Jump. God, this is so fucking trippy. I have no idea what is going on at all. Gee, bastard. Yeet. I jumped and I almost got her. Yeet. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. Girl. You're a cat now. Live with it. You can eat whatever I the fuck you want. And suddenly, I was an owl. Oh First, gosh. All I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. What the fuck? Oh, this is so weird. I gotta admit, this is really fucking cool. So trippy, but. Aha! Fuck. I gotta admit, I'm just as shite as this. Every other fucking thing again. No, you stopped. This girl's gonna end up biting off more than she can chew. Literally. A mama rabbit. Fucking where though? There you are. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly. Oh, what the fuck ever? I'm confused.
I'm so confused. What the hell is happening? I swear to God, I thought she would have been going into the ocean or some shit, but nah. I rolled off a cliff and into the ocean. <laughs> now, I was hungrier than ever. I am the hunter. I'm no longer the hunter, motherfucker. Motherfucker, I am no longer the hunted. I wanted fat, juicy seeds. <laughs> I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Motherfucker, I'm a shark. You can't eat on from me. I can smell your blood, son. So hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything changed. Bitch, am I a snake? Now I was a monster and I smelled people up. I may be a squid. Octopus. Or maybe I literally am a fucking monster. I was Right. This is very weird. Right, one sec, guys. I'm going to pause it here. Right, there was a little issue I had to take care of them. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, what? I felt something new. Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I 
Like, this is so weird. I got closer and closer. All of my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. is happening. Right, Molly's done. I'm not done. sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. One sec. Right, so, I actually just had a quick skim and scan of that. Uh, what the fuck. Right, so I just had a quick scan of that. That was, um... Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. <laughs> I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse, his wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Okay, so Odin died. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Okay. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Shit. <laughs> His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Shit, man. What's all? Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Is that all? That's how Odin died. This is the story of how everybody died, right? Great grandma had always been the family's biggest fan. Lewis, 1988. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Holy shit, man. See that fucking style? Bloody hell. Right, so that's two stories, one episode. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. <sighs> For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. Eat shit. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. What? My mom was furious. What? 
and what the fuck? Oh shit, she was on oxygen. That's, that's a lot of pills. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Oh, shit. That's Sven. Well, a Even lot of people have died. 90s, sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Yeah, probably because your mother was an absolute bitch. What in the hell is this? The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. What? It the was a pretty big trace. Why is there a wine bottle? In <laughs> There's a wine bottle. Ooh. Secret in this bathroom by Sven Needy Finch. Huh. There's literally a secret in this bathroom. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. What the fuck? <laughs> Calvin Finch. There's a lot of dead people in this family, homie. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Shit out of my way. Who the hell is the room is this? Is this Sam and Calvin? Sam wanted to be a soldier. Calvin wanted to be a space explorer. He couldn't really tell that. Wow. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. And that Calvin. he never talked about him. Dead. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Ooh, Calvin story. How I want to remember my brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. Ah, damn it, bro. <laughs> he broke his leg. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Well, shit. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. You can tell that this is the ready. Coming. But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. And maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. This oh god is such a kind of creepy. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Dark. 
Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember he died trying to 11. do the exact same thing. <sighs> Fuck me, he died at 11. Right, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.